Mental illness is a spiritual experience. Mental illness affects many people in the world, and each person has a unique set of symptoms. In traditional medical fields, it is thought to be strictly a chemical imbalance in the mind, with prescription medication thought to correct this. But while the brain naturally has a great deal to do with mental illness, the condition actually goes much deeper and involves something far more obscure. What is obscured from our view, we cannot fully understand and tend to fear. We cannot physically see the causes of mental illness, only the physical symptoms of anxiety, depression, and psychosis. Many people will go straight to judgment and then stigmatize those with mental disorders because of what we cannot physically see. While mental illness certainly revolves around the mental component, the spiritual aspect is almost exclusively overlooked. No conventional treatment will ever recognize the spiritual aspect, which is the core of our being and what we are at the deepest level. So only treating the surface, the physical body, will never truly heal the root cause. What are these spiritual causes that are not well known? or usually overlooked. There are a great many causes that have been identified, yet a plethora of them still exists that we have not the slightest understanding of. To begin to comprehend the spiritual causes of mental illness, it is best to first understand the remedies traditionally used to treat mental illness. Those who struggle with mental disorders might be experiencing heightened sensitivity to other individuals and to their personal environment. They might have extrasensory abilities and feel unable to control the influences of unseen energies around them. People like these in our society are likely to be labeled mentally unstable and generally prescribed medication to numb their emotional pain. Unfortunately, medical intervention can end up closing the spiritual doorway that natural law has opened for a reason in this person's life. This is why medication can never be the only solution to someone's problems, since it only addresses the physical aspect of illness. Psychiatric medication is not meant to solve the root problem because it was developed to function only in this physical domain. Some people are quite sensitive to the energy in the environment around them. A category of these people are known as empaths, individuals who can absorb other people's emotions or who have sensitivity to spirits of the dead. Others who are sensitive to energy may end up being diagnosed with bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. They may see or hear things that others cannot, things that may form in their mind or reside in the non-physical domain. People whose chakras are imbalanced may experience emotional restlessness, feelings of insecurity, or the kind of severe anxiety found in many anxiety disorders, or exhibit symptoms of borderline personality disorder or components of other debilitating conditions. Chakras are the energy centers of the non-physical body that are connected to specific points of the physical body. When the imbalance exists at one chakra level, we are susceptible to an imbalanced life while another of our chakras becomes overactive to compensate for the lack of total energy balance. One of the most powerful forms of spiritual energy alteration of the non-physical body comes from the physical things that happen to us. Abuse of all kinds is a core process of energy transfer. Extreme discontentment and negativity are passed from one person to another via a physical medium. Violence is a way for one who is troubled and perhaps hateful of life to pass along that feral hatred to someone else. Such severe negative energy is infused into the one being abused, who then is at a high risk of becoming an abuser on some level and feeling worthless as a result. Without proper cleansing of this negative energy buildup, 
These people will continue to suffer in an expanding and unending cycle of abuse. These repeating cycles of negativity and abuse are common among individuals suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and other trauma disorders. Another source of energy transference comes from intention, the personal energy that we put into our thoughts, ideas, actions, and even into the food we eat. Putting negative intentions into our thoughts and actions can turn any positive effort into one with a negative result. Putting negative intentions into our food means to eat out of shame or guilt, to consume the food because we hate ourselves and or bodies, when instead we should be honoring both. As a result, we put ourselves at risk of developing many physical health problems, including heart disease, obesity, and cancer. Our own intention is the key to our physical health condition. So is the food itself and how it's prepared, as well as each person and process that was involved in its preparation. Animal products have the highest amount of negative energy and negative intentions put into them. This is due to how poorly animals tend to be treated in the industrial livestock farming system, where they are seen as commodities instead of living creatures. Negative energy also resides in many non-animal foods that we consume due to the corporate agricultural system in place today that produces cheaper products devoid of nutrients and poisoned with pesticides that is more profitable than real healthy food. Regardless of the food source of the negative energy already in the food, it's still possible to cleanse this negative energy before you consume it. Being thankful for each step of the manufacturing process, for the money to afford the food in front of you, and for your body's ability to digest the food and absorb its nutrients will help to eliminate some of the negative energy that resides within your food. Many alternative spiritual practices such as meditation, yoga, chakra cleansing, reiki, crystals, and so on can help you to clear away negativity and promote a proper spiritual connection that you will find to be stabilizing and fulfilling. We are all connected to the spiritual realm that is the basis of our existence. Yet many of us are completely unaware of this fact. Some people will turn to mundane tasks in order to gain at least a hollow sense of fulfillment and pleasure in this physical domain. Others have their spiritual door far too open, allowing excess of energy to enter from the non-physical domain into their physical bodies, resulting in an overload that manifests as mental illness. There is in fact a natural balance and finding that balance is key.